today's video is going to be the underrated legend Oleg Blokin. Blokin was born in Kiev in the USSR in November 1952 and spent his youth career at Dynamo Kiev before spending most of his career at his hometown club. He burst onto the scene in both the Soviet League and for the Soviet national football team during the 1972 Olympics as he won a bronze medal in Munich. By the end of 1972, he had scored 8 goals in just 9 appearances for his country. His performances at club level were similarly impressive as by the end of 1972, he'd scored 14 goals in 27 league matches. 1975 would be the peak of his career. He's managed to win the Ballon d'Or, the Ukrainian and the Soviet Awards of Player of the Year, the Merited Master of Sports in the USSR, the Soviet Top League, the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup and the UEFA Super Cup. He would go on to lift five more league titles with the Dynamo Kiev team that was in the peak of their history as well as winning another UEFA Super Cup. Despite his impressive feats both at club and country, the USSR would struggle to qualify for another major tournament after 1972 Euros, in which they lost the final. He played in 1982 and 1986 World Cups, where he scored in 1982 against New Zealand and in 1986 against Canada. But the USSR would never get beyond the second round. They greatly underperformed during this time period, and Blokin was seen as a one-man team for years. He wasn't called up for the Soviet squad in Euro 88, the last tournament that they did well in, as they reached the final, losing 2-0 to the Netherlands. He then would go on to become one of the first Soviet players to play abroad, when he joined Austrian side Vorwarts Steyr, and the next year would join Cyprus side Aris Limassol before retiring in 1990. He spent the next 12 years managing various clubs in Greece, before spending two stints as manager of the Ukraine, he was also at the helm of the now defunct FC Moscow between his Ukrainian stints, and between the years of 2012 and 2014, he was at the helm of Dynamo Kiev. As of the time recording this video, he has managed a team since, but is considered one of the greatest players in the Ukraine, as well as one of the former USSR's greatest players. Like, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment what you want to do next. See you next time. Good luck.